This segment is sponsored by Grand Rapids Specialty Therapy. June is Pride Month, an opportunity to recognize the impact that LGBTQIA plus people have had in our world. It's a celebration of the culture and a show of support for equal rights and acceptance. Audrey Mitchell and Justine Brayford are with Grand Rapids Specialty Therapy, and they join us now to talk about the importance of this month. It's good to see you both. Good to see you. Okay, so tell me what LGBTQIA plus is and why have we set aside a month to recognize that group? Yeah, so all of the letters, right, can be confusing to people, but it stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual, queer, or questioning, asexual, and ally. And the plus is just to indicate all of the other variations that are very normal and that we celebrate here at GRST. Um, we have Pride Month actually to commemorate the Stonewall Rides of 1969 in Manhattan, and Pride continues to be both a party to really celebrate this community, but also a protest um, to bring attention to the oppression and inequity experienced by this community. And Grand Rapids Specialty actually exists in large part to address the mental health inequities with the LGBTQIA plus community. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of discussion this month about allyship and how to be an ally to this community. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, what is an ally and, and you know, what does it encompass? Yeah, that's such a great question because as many different people as you're going to ask, you're likely going to get different feedback. Our most recent favorite response to that question is by a 13 year old friend of GRST who had this most beautiful quote. I'm actually going to read it because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. They, they say, the word ally doesn't really capture the work of being a supporter. It can be problematic because it infers separateness rather than being in the fight and standing in for disenfranchised queer folks. What if we called them asserters, backers, or defenders? And that really is such a brilliant take about what an ally is. Because no matter what we call them, each and every ally has genuine care and concern for the LGBT plus population. We come to know and understand heterosexual privileges and stand up against it. Allies will fight for fair and equal treatment of all folks. And instead of just tolerating, we celebrate the differences in all of us. Yeah, I, I kind of hate the discussion about tolerance. That's that's odd to me. Um, and I've heard, I've heard it said about allyship, you know, from the community, I get to decide if you are an ally, right? We don't just get to say, I'm an ally, I'm on it, right? Yes, okay. sorry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm preaching. Okay. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> How can we be allies? What are some of the things we can do? Yeah. So I, I kind of think of it as a mix of three essential ingredients. And the first thing I think is you, you need a little bit of optimism, which is we have a problem and we actually can solve it. Responsibility. We have a problem. How can we go about solving it? An initiative. We have a problem. And here's what I'm going to do to solve it. Um, and it does not have to be complicated. So putting your pronouns in your email is a great, very simple two minute step that you can take. Um, shopping at LGBTQ owned locations, like right here in town, we have Rebel and we have Books and Mortar. And even if you like that bigger brand Target, they are known to be a very LGBTQIA friendly site. Um, check assumptions that everyone you meet is straight or cis, which just means they identify with the gender that they were assigned at birth. Um, use neutral terms like partner so that everybody is included. There are no assumptions. Um, and then if you make a mistake and you aren't sure what is the correct language, just go ahead and ask or usually looking it up on Google. That's super simple. Um, and then listen with curiosity. So remember that most LGBTQ folks have lived in a more conservative space or a space where they weren't accepted. But try and put yourself, if you are one of those people, into the LGBTQIA space even if just temporarily. Mm. A and there's this understanding goes a long way. Go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. I was gonna say, there's this great quote by Gabrielle Union. Everyone wants to change the world. It starts with one intentional action. And that really highlights what allyship is, an intentional action that creates a ripple effect of change. And June is Pride Month. So we unapologetically highlight our beautiful and vibrant LGBTQAI community here in Grand Rapids and around the world. And we also wanted to highlight and point out that Allyship is everywhere. It's in every population, race, age, gender, socioeconomic status, citizenship status, sexual orientation, chronic pain and illness, weight biases, 
um, able-bodiedness. And so it really is everywhere. And each and every one of us has an opportunity to be an ally or backer or defender to everyone else. Mm -hmm. And the most important, or actually the second most important thing we hope viewers take away is that someone you love is LGBTQ, whether you're aware or not. And you may have preferences or internal conflicts because your viewpoints might be different or your belief systems might be different. And that's okay. But we hope that you're able to pause and ask yourself, what is my responsibility? What can I do for this person that I love to make a more safe and a more loving world? And the first and foremost important thing that we want to share is this. If you are somebody out there who doubts your worth, because you're a part of this community, or you have fear or anxiety around your identity, you are respected, you are seen, you are liked, and you are loved. You are extraordinary and lucky as the person who knows you. Mm -hmm. And there are so many people out there who are ready to love on you. And everyone here at Grand Rapids Specialty Therapy, we're a part of your community. Beautiful. Oh, oh, gosh, so nice. Thank you, guys. Uh, you can learn more about the work that is being done at Grand Rapids Specialty Therapy on their website. It's grspecialtytherapy.com. Thanks to both of you. Thank you. Thank you.